Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. Today we got some footage from the Low Hotel in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, which is supposedly haunted mm -hmm. hotel. Yes. And there's a couple of reasons why this is so late getting me guys because we were actually in Point Pleasant a year ago. But we thought that we would get it ready to throw out now a couple of weeks before the Mothman Festival. That is September 17th and 18th because the low hotel always books up during Mothman Week. So oh, yeah. some of you guys may be going to stay there and you want to see first Park. Oh yeah, and at least stop in for a visit because that is a place that's well worth the visit. And oh my gosh, it so is. A couple of reasons why it took us this long. We weren't intending to wait. Footage got lost, then it was damaged. So I don't know if it's the Mothman or Big Jim or whoever's haunting the low hotel. It's yeah. a little kid with the tries. I don't know. But, <laughs> yeah. but it took us about a year to get this thing together. So. Yes, but it is worth the watch. So hang in there with us. And if you like this video, give us the thumbs up, share it, comment, and I absolutely love the sign. I do too. Stork Low Hotel. I'm guessing that really? used to be the main entrance, don't you? Yeah, I would think so. And on the side of the building is that end sign at the very top. Yeah. So I would think that that's what really drew in people. Here's a look at the historic low hotel from the side and also a little bit of a street view. But you might enjoy seeing that. There's a post office. Yeah. Post office and it's just an old downtown area, Main Street type mm -hmm. thing. It's kind of you know, a lot of different businesses and a lot of them out of business. It's kind of all over the place really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And there is the Twelfth Man. I like to think that it's building up. Yeah. Maybe they're fixing stuff up. Well, so there's a lot of traffic through here, so it would make mm -hmm. sense that it would be, it has a lot of potential. Yeah. A lot of potential, and I'm thinking people know that. Like we said before, I love that end sign on the top, and then it's just a legitimate old hotel. You don't see many of those anymore. Yeah. This fireplace is amazing. Yeah. It's just breathtaking. Oh, really yes, I mean, it's came out find a place to stay like this. Yeah. And usually you see like some chips and cracks and that one looks almost perfect. Yeah. I love it. It's a family hotel and they've got their family pictures up and everything too. Oh yeah. It's a switchboard. That is awesome. Love it. You think you could have done this job? I'm quite shocked. <laughs> I think it would be fine. I've always thought that would be fine. And I wish I still had that kind of stuff. It's yeah. Straight all back, Lord Gallagher. Okay, thank you. All back, Lord Thank you. All the way back and to the left. Like, keep going. Yeah. Oh wow. This is this is an old bar, I guess. Oh, um, in the early days of operation, I read that it had, the first floor had a barber shop, a bar room, wholesale liquor room, dry goods store, banking. A billiards room. Shows a year, some solo and some collector. Awesome. And you do have a little gift shop over there. We do everything here. Is for sale, but they don't. They change it. Okay. And they always have. Thank you so much. Oh, I love that. So this is the second floor. 
And in this area that you see ahead of us is where a young woman has been reported to be dancing to music that only she hears. And she was supposed to be the daughter of the original owner. It's a beautiful picture there. It is, yes. There's Lauren Green. <laughs> That's Fog. another little rocking horse. That's cute. Oh, here's the head cart, right? You had the son's hoss, little Joe, Adam. Ben Cartwright, I think that's his name. And then down this hallway, there have been reports of a child, a young child. I think that I've read mostly reports say it was a female that rides a tricycle and that you can hear the squeaking of the tires and her laughter. It sounds a little bit too much like the shining to yeah. me. A lot, of, a lot of parallels there, right? It is. I don't but know maybe there's something to it. Maybe Stephen King stayed here. We don't know about it. Oh, look. It looks like Pam Beasley painted that painting. <laughs> <I'm under Mifflin. laughs> yeah. <laughs> but a very nice painting of the Low Hotel. Glad Michael Scott put it to good use. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> that looks like my cat when I rub his belly. <laughs> Some interesting stuff in it. Yeah. I mean, the atmosphere in here is just flat out amazing, isn't it? It's just... Yeah. Very nice. So here's the back staircase that goes up to the third floor. Okay. okay. And we That's see in there. here some rooms blocked off like this over here with the chair. Yeah. Seems to be a common thing to keep people out in certain rooms. Good Lord, Elaine, that's... Oh, wow. She got the first place in the county fair show. I'm not really sure what. Hmm. That's yeah, a lot bigger than I thought, just at first yeah. glance. Very nice little sitting room. Or a bedroom. Yeah, it's in the office. Yeah, it's in the office. Okay. Some more rooms. Here's another look at the rooms. There's a nice bathroom there. I love this room. This is very nice. It is a fireplace. Have to move that TV out of the way, wouldn't you? Look at this little chest. Oh yeah, very cool. I love it. Yeah. It's a cool place to check out, isn't it? It is. You come, you definitely need to stay at the Low Hotel. Absolutely. Even the moth man would agree, wouldn't he? He's yes. got a mask on. <laughs> so look, looking down from the second floor onto the first floor. See the beautiful stained glass of what? Too. Too. And look at that ceiling too. Just a yeah. lot of detail went into this. Beautiful. Still on the second floor here, just the lower level of it. Red, red carpet really adds to it, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah. So the third floor is supposed to be the most haunted. Um, on this end of the third floor, there's supposed to be uh, hearing constant walking, hearing whistling when nobody's around, feeling chilled, feeling like somebody's around you. There's also been reports of sightings of a bearded man. I don't see that, did you? That hallway. And here is. Great. So in this room, there have been sightings of a woman kneeling by the bed and also 
a lump in the bed, like a child covered up with blankets. So that's really creepy. Three twenty eight, three twenty seven. Oh my god, what is this? Huh. Oh, it's not a ghost. <laughs> I thought we'd show you around, let you look at some of the rooms here. How about your standard bathroom? Feeling anything here? I kind of sort of do. Yeah. It's a little creepy. It's yeah, little... this room is supposed to be haunted by Captain Jim here. Um, a woman had said that she come into her room and saw a man standing by the window looking out, and she asked who he was and what he was doing here, and he told her that he was waiting on his ship to come in or watching for his ship to come in. She then noticed the man didn't have any legs. So, she took off running. <laughs> I watched this movie. It's called Forrest Gump and it's Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> no, not like that. And here's the little sitting room. So we love that though, don't you? This is great. Yeah, and another little bedroom there. And that's a look at a couple of the rooms here. It's so nice. It's Kind of a little bit of a creepy vibe, I guess, but not in a bad <laughs> way. Really in a way, nice. it's almost like I don't know. You just feel like there's a presence here, don't you feel? I mean, maybe yeah, I'm... it feels like a lot of a lot of energy has been here over the years, a hundred years now. That's kind of like yeah, what I feel too. There's a lot of different yeah to the view at this window here. Yeah, you know, however. We're, amphitheater by the Ohio River. There's a uh, mural of Chief Cornstalk yes. and I think that's Lord Dunmore maybe on the other side. Is that him or is that uh, Andrew Lewis? I'll have to go check it out. But And then yeah. you can the distance there you can see the bridge. Not the Silver Bridge. No, but the Silver Bridge was over there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get closer and let you check that out. But we wanted to give you a view of kind of the room you can see here at the Low Hotel. Yes. There's some rocking chairs that are also supposed to be haunted. It's kind of squeaky here, isn't it? It is very squeaky. Hard to sneak up on somebody. I wonder when it's up on the fourth floor. We'll check that out. Yeah. In here is the study. The little library and they have board games, books. You can just hang out in here and chill. So it's pretty cool. How about that? They also have a little microwave for convenience. It's more they do so well of maintaining the classic antique integrity of the hotel. I really love that. Yeah, I love this too. It just adds a lot of atmosphere, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot of character. Character. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, let's go back out in the hall. Makes it feel very homey, doesn't it? Like you're yeah, it does. like that glass up there. Do you um, catch the little bottle openers on the door? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and then that thing opens up, that little flap on the window, if you mess with it. And of course, you know me, I'm going to mess with anything I can. Maybe not effectively, but I'll mess with them. I'm not too much. Okay. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> yeah. Beauty fan for a shattered window. Yeah, I'll be everybody who has ghost hearings tonight from because of me <laughs> fooling around with stuff. Stairwell.
and I read that this place is supposed to be haunted by the sound of phantom music. That's some Mothman art. Yeah. And now the floor here is only used for storage, as you can see. Another view of the Ohio River. Yeah. Such a death. Oh, wooden rocking horse is really cool. That's not a gargoyle. What is it, an owl? Yeah. I think that's supposed to scare off something. Mothman? Mice. Mice. I don't know. After, I'm sure that Kennedy would love to rob that. After two shots, <laughs> after two shots, you'd be up on this thing. <laughs> trying to get home. Definitely got a vibe about them, don't they? Very young 60s or 70s. Yeah. This may be the haunted rocking chair, actually. There's a haunted rocking chair in here somewhere that is supposed to rock by itself. There's one over there, too. Oh, yeah. There's the penthouse. Yeah, so we're not sure which one, but there is a rocking chair in here that rocks on its own. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this look at the Low Hotel in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I love staying there so much. It was just such a cool place, yeah, creaky vibe. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Yeah, it was. It was just, uh, there was certainly an atmosphere there. And uh, What do you think about being haunted? I could definitely see it. Uh, it was a lot of creepy vibes. Yeah, uh, just it's, the atmosphere itself is amazing, but it's also, it does feel, there's just feels of presence there like you do sometimes. Yeah, and it doesn't feel bad or scary, but just like somebody's there with you that you don't see. Which is why we would recommend you stay there if you ever get the opportunity. Yes. It's very much worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, we uh, hope you guys like this, <laughs> and we'll see you on down the road.